another one. Battle Booth is half, half a gang on the low. He half a gang on the low. I'm and I'm I'm Battle Booth gang, so y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it is. The Battle Booth. If you look him up, y'all go subscribe to his channel. Gucci, nah, yo, oh my god, why are you worried about a house party, go get your kid and play, yo, that third round by Geechee, bruh, yo, first of all, Casey J got smoked, first of all, she got smoked, I don't want to hear nothing from nobody, bruh, why are you worried about a house party, go get your kid and play, Woo! Yo, that third round, I'm not gonna front. Geechee was talking to her soul, bro. Geechee was talking to Casey J's soul. She had he had that angle about her not being a good mother. Like, what is she doing out there? Like, how come she didn't bring him along? Bruh. Bruh. The second round. Oh my god. Geechee had the angle about the ghostwriting. Oh my god. He said, whoever, whoever pen is going in is whoever pen is coming out. You know what I'm saying? Because he's talking about, all right, so, all right, let me, let me explain. So, Geechee in the second round had this ghostwriting angle, bro, where he was talking about, you know, people having ghostwriting for her, like QP and all this, you know what I'm saying? He knows names and, you know what I'm saying? But he's not going to say names or whatever. And one of the lines he had was, whoever pen is going in is whoever pen is coming out, you know what I'm saying? Because he was talking about the fact that they sleep, that she sleeps with him, you know what I'm saying? Or that she sleeps around. It's, bro, oh, my God. Yo, from the first round, bruh, first of all, I knew Geechee was going to do that whole witch thing. Math Hoffa started that whole trend about Casey J being like some kind of voodoo witch or some kind of alien or something from that's not from this. But he started that whole thing and he started something crazy because now everybody's rolling with it. It was mentioned in the battle, you know what I'm saying, a couple of times, Casey J being a witch. Casey J said something like, um, when she was talking about, you know, people talking about her being a witch, she said something like, um... I brought the stick, you know what I'm saying? I brought this stick. Now I'm going to put a pin in his back, like a pin, like, you know, type of pin when you do voodoo, you know what I'm saying? And the, the dolls are on a stick, you know what I'm saying? So it was, a, yo, Matt Hoffa, what did you do, bro? What the f did this guy do, man? Yo, Geechee Gotti smoked Casey J's boots. I don't even, yo, Casey J had a lot of material. She has some dope lines, you know what I'm saying? She had a lot of material, though, like, that had to do with, you know, like killing Gichi Gotti. She did have a good angle on in the third round. You know, she did have, you know what I'm saying? She tried a good angle in the third round where she brought up, you know what I'm saying, like Gichi Gotti claiming to be like, you know, this like gangster tough guy, you know what I mean? And she looked up his criminal, you know, his criminal record. And uh, it turns out that he 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 has that you know only has a robbery you know only which I mean I guess it's not a, it's not a bad thing technically to not have a long re a long record you know what I'm saying or felonies because uh, you have more opportunities in life but I guess when it comes to you know the image that Gichi Gotti tries to portray or portrays you know what I'm saying which is that gangster thug life I guess it's frown frowned upon you know not having a, a long criminal record or not having a felony on. And all that stuff. So her angle was, you know, she brought up him having robbed the pharmacy. And that's the only thing that is on his record and blah, blah, blah. But that's the only memorable thing that I, that I remember about Casey J really saying, though. I remembered pretty much every angle that Geechee Gotti was talking about in every round. You know what I'm saying? It all stuck with me. His performance, crazy. I didn't expect anything less. Casey J, it, it was almost like his performance was so crazy. Casey J even stumbled up, you know what I'm saying, in the third round. Casey J stumbled up. And I knew this was going to happen, bro. Geechee got to use that B-I-T-C-H. Bitch, he was a witch. I knew he was going to do it. I knew he was going to do it because of what everybody, you know, people are talking about, you know, trolling, talking about uh, Casey J being, I knew he was going to do it. Bitch, he was a witch. That was hilarious, you know what I'm saying? But from the from the jump, man, Geechee Gotti was making fun of her, like, the way that Casey J looks, 
talking about how strong her facial features are, you know what I'm saying, and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, so much to the point where, you, you know, is your face not strong enough to block, you know what I'm saying, like bullets? Like, yo, Geechee was going crazy, son. I think this was pretty clear, to be honest with y'all, man, Geechee. But you already know what it is, man. It's your boy Joe coming at you live and direct from the battle. If you're not subscribed.